Hello, good day to you. I warmly welcome you back to this edition of Our Positive Word. I trust that all is well with you and your loved ones. Thank you for joining me. But today, impossibility became impossible, became possible, pardon me. Impossibility became possible. Well, we all know human beings, we are limited. As much as there are some people who want to present themselves as macho men and women, there are things that are absolutely impossible for us to do by ourselves. There are lots of things. For instance, there is no human being who can die and get, get out of death by themselves. There is no human being who can change their past. As much as we all have got certain things about our past that we would like to change, they stay the same. Nobody sees the future. Nobody knows what's going to happen the next minute, next hour, let alone tomorrow or any time in the future. We all live by faith in God. That's why I'm coming to remind us that impossible situations can become possible because we've got the God who is the God who specializes in making impossibilities become possible. In Matthew chapter 28 from verses 1, we, we, we know the account. Jesus died. Yes, he died. He was buried hurriedly. He died on a Friday. He was buried hurriedly because people didn't want the Sabbath to hit them. Remember the Jews, they don't do hard work on the Sabbath. So there was no ceremony. Jesus was just hurriedly placed in the grave. Certain women showed up. They gathered at that place of impossibility, the tomb, the graveyard, lifeless, dead, still, numb. They were in shock. They were mourning. Everything was bleak, no future. This Messiah, this one who claimed to be the soon coming, the king who would who had come to set them free had died and is buried lifeless in a dark, dead, gloomy grave. If you've ever been to the cemetery or a tomb, that's one of the coldest, when I say cold, not the winter cold that we're experiencing right now. It's the coldness of death. The setting is lifeless. Lifelessness lingers, it's in the air, you can feel it, it's so tangible, it's so overpowering. It will take a real original life in God for anything with life to come out of a tomb. Jesus came out. <laughs> Lord Jesus came out of the tomb. Only Jesus Christ in the history of mankind, he was the only one. <laughs> who has ever risen and he gave death a permanent red card he rose he got out of the grave never to die again glory to your name mighty god hence because jesus christ lives we can live we can face tomorrow with hope with faith in our hearts knowing that whatever is impossible he's gone ahead setting it right for us they will become possible what is that dead thing in your life what is that situation that that you think is impossible you're dreading you're having palpitations you're anxious it's affecting your health what is it i tell you today jesus came back to life he defeated death and the grave no other human no other person. Jesus did that as a man. There has never been. We have heard and seen all sorts of prophets, people. We've read about them in history. They stayed dead. But Jesus is alive. You with him in your heart, you know this. As a child of God, this is the confidence we have in Christ Jesus. He is alive. And he can make every impossibility to turn, transform them to, possi to possibility. You have to trust God, my dear. You have to give him 
the opportunity to let you know that yes, he can. We are told in Matthew chapter 19 verses 26 that with men, things are impossible. But with God, nothing is, impos is, is impossible. Yes, all things are possible with him. There is nothing that comes in the way of God that you present to God that he will run away because he can't tackle them. There may be delays, but that doesn't mean God has failed. You just hold on. Don't fail yourself by giving up and going to seek help in all the wrong places. People chase shadows, chase false prophets and fake people who come in the name of God because they have given up. Those people you run after will never help. They only compound people's problems. We have a God who specializes in bringing life back to dead and the most impossible circumstances. Do you know this God? Can you trust him with your life? Have you turned to this God? He's waiting to transform that situation, that problem that you think is insurmountable. Yes, you're over a certain age, 30, 40, 50, 60, you're still single. You haven't had a child. Your job is, is, is shaking. Your, your finances are all over the place. You're, you're, you're feeling anxious, nervous because of the economic downturn in the world. You're thinking about a relative who might be ill in the hospital. All things are possible to him who believes. Mark 9, 23 tells us that. Believe in Jesus Christ because you believe all things are possible. Healing can come. Deliverance can come. Supplies will come. Yes, you think it's an impossible situation. God can step in and he will turn it around in a second. You've waited decades for it and almost given up. Don't give up, my dear, because the God of impossibilities is passing by and he's here. Reach out to him. Remember when Jesus said to that woman, he is the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in him may be de dead, but they shall live. What is the dead situation? Turn it over to Jesus. Because he lives, we can face tomorrow. We can go wherever. That interview that you think you've gone to several and the job's not coming. Impossible situations can become possible. Do not give up. Wait on God. Wait. Hang in there. Trust him to come through for you because he is coming. Remember, when it's coming late, it's coming big. So hang in there because the God of impossibilities has come your way and he wants to turn that situation around. You just believe. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye for now. God bless you as you continue to hold on to the God of impossibilities as he's turning all things around for our good. God bless you.